And I'm going to try not to get too animated as I say to all of this, but, you know, the Milwaukee Bucks, they made some changes within their organization. They fired their head coach, Adrian Griffin, but just one day after they let him go, they hired Doc Rivers to replace him as the head coach until 2026. Now, I don't have a problem with the Milwaukee Bucks firing Adrian Griffin. I didn't think Adrian Griffin had been doing a good job anyway coaching Damian Lillard and Giannis Antetokounmpo. I, I don't I, he deserved this firing. Truth be told, let's let's get that out there and let's get that on the table right now. He definitely deserved it. He wasn't the guy for the job. The problem is hiring Doc River, who's a loser of a coach, as a coach, not a person, who's a loser as a coach is not a good decision. And I'll explain why, but it, it, it gets even worse because, mind you, even though they hired Doc Rivers just one day after, they still have to pay Adrian Griffin, who they just fired, and they still have to pay Mike Budenholzer, who they just fired before Adrian Griffin. So they went through two head coaches in the past year that they're still paying out, and then they bring on this trash man of a coach, Doc Rivers. And this is the thing about Doc Rivers here because Doc Rivers is not a good coach. I know he gets respected and all of that, but I've never, ever seen seen any NBA championship glorified to the amount of the Boston Celtics in 2006. It's ridiculous, bro. Let's get real about the game and let's get real about the situation because Doc Rivers ain't did nothing since that 2008 Boston Celtics team. He's literally been garbage. Ever since that Celtics team, Doc, has he hasn't seen a second round since 2008. That's when he had Kevin Garnett, Ray Allen, and, and Paul Pierce. Did not get past the second round. Hasn't been back to the conference finals since that time period. This man, Doc Rivers, has lost seven of his last eight closeout games in the playoffs. And what's crazy, I haven't even gotten to the worst part yet. The worst part about all of this is that Doc Rivers blew three different three to one leads in the NBA playoffs. He blew a three to one lead with the Orlando Magic in 2003 as a head coach. He blew a three to one lead with the Los Angeles Clippers in 2015 as a head coach. And he blew a three one lead with the Los Angeles Clippers again in 2020 as a head coach. So what is it about this guy that the Milwaukee Bucks finds attractive? Because I don't get it. I don't see it. Doc Rivers, every team he's coached, he's had a stacked team. It's not like he's been making magic. It's not like he made magic with that 2008 team in the Celtics. No, you had Paul Pierce, Rajon Rondo, Kevin Garnett, Ray Allen, all Hall of Famers. The Clippers in 2015 had another stacked team. Lob City, Chris Paul, Blake Griffin, DeAndre Jordan, Matt Barnes. You had so much talent that you've been coaching over the years, and yet you still cannot get the job done. You can't shit. You can't even get out of the second round. <laughs> like, yet alone get the get the job done. You can't even get out the second round, bro. Like, come on, man. So to me. Doc Rivers has never made adjustments in game very well. Um, obviously, every time he goes to the playoffs, I've seen him do the same different thing um, that, that caused him to lose games consistently in the elimination games. And that's not good because I'm hoping that he does not do that with the Milwaukee Bucks with one of my favorite players, Giannis Antetokounmpo and Damian Lillard. Like, it's ridiculous. So I, I hope that this is a, a narrative change for him. I hope that he does succeed with the Bucks. Because I don't want to trash the man. He's clearly a good person. <laughs> I mean, he's clearly a good person, bro, because everybody wants to hire him. Everybody wants to bring him around as a head coach. So, I mean, hey, he must be somewhat of a decent human being here.